friends, it's Amy Tangerine. I'm here in my studio and I've got something exciting to share with you today. It's in this box right here. It is a collaboration with one of my favorite brands, Altenew. We decided to do a mini collection together. I was thrilled when they approached me about making this happen, partly because I have loved their products since 2017 or 18, when I was first introduced to them at Creativation. I'm delighted to share that we put together a mini collection of really fun products. They'll motivate you to create they're full of inspiring phrases, doodles, and best of all, you are going to take it to the next level and craft a life you love. And I can't wait to see what you make. Let's take a look, shall we? There are three four by six sets of high quality photopolymer stamps, which are made in the USA. A fresh start. This stamp set is a gentle reminder to embrace life with all its ups and downs. Whether you're starting a new chapter in your life or simply looking for a little inspiration, this set will help you stay focused and uplifted. Take some deep breaths and let this guide you and your creations to embrace a more heartfelt, fulfilling future. Be kind to others and yourself along the way. This will be great for all kinds of paper projects. Next, through the rainbow. With so many possibilities ahead, look through the delights of a rainbow. This stamp set will lean you towards the light and encourage you to color your world with the stories of your life. Delight in the crafting and creating as you shine bright. Hey beautiful, want to add some positivity to a loved one's day? This set is a unique and fun way to add a touch of inspiration and positivity to any project. With its playful hand-drawn designs and meaningful messages, you'll be motivated to strive for awesomeness and follow what feels good. Which one is your favorite or do you need all three? Let me know in the comments below. Next, we have these delightful inks. It was so fun to choose these colors, Tickled Pink, Cherry Sweet, Tangerine Dream, Lemonade Stand, Let Us Celebrate, Peachy Keen, Berry Cool, Easy Breezy, Ride the Wave, Be Grateful, Silver Lining, and Rose Gold. I used the Hummingbird from the Through the Rainbow set and also the Hearts from A Fresh Start. Put them onto an acrylic block and I wanted to create a swatch page in my journal. This is with watercolor paper and it's just a new journal that I'm going to try to use and celebrate all the little things in life. Here is Peachy Keen. I love how this color looks. These two colors that I'm first using, Peachy Keen and Tickled Pink. Oh, one thing I do want to do is clean my stamps with a baby wipe. It's not something I regularly do. If you've been a follower or subscriber of my channel for a while, you'll know that I'm not very good at cleaning my stamps, but I'm trying to get better. Here is Tickled Pink. Like I said before, these two are probably my favorite colors, although I like all of them, obviously, because I chose them and it took me a very long time to curate 12 colors that did not previously exist in Altenew's wide range of ink colors. And also I wanted to make sure that we had vibrant and versatile options for all kinds of paper projects. So here is Cherry Sweet. I love the way the inks, uh, should I put it on this side? No, I think I'm gonna go this way. If you are somebody who swatches all of your inks, I commend you for that. I don't normally do this, but I really wanted to see all the colors displayed together and show you the beautiful colors as they're being stamped, but also after they dry. Tangerine Dream, it took a while to find the perfect orange, or should I say tangerine, but I think we found it. It is stunning, in my opinion, and I hope you think so too. Lemonade Stand comes next, and this one is a yellow that is punchy enough, a little bit vibrant and mustard. The rose gold was something that took us a while to figure out, and what I didn't realize is that I needed to trust myself a little bit more. This is complete user error, and I do not blame the inks or the stamps. It's me. So obviously you can see there that it didn't go through all the way. Well, I didn't 
quite get enough coverage on there. So I'm trying to line it up as perfectly as possible and stamp it down. The grace that I'm giving myself is a little bit more than I usually do. I'm really hard on myself, but I want you to not be. This is very cool. Another one of my favorite colors, which is this perfect, I don't know, light blue, kind of muted, I, I don't know, we just called it very cool. This one <laughs> I love as well, Easy Breezy. Okay, maybe I should stop saying that I love them. This is Let Us Celebrate because that's a given. More importantly, I hope that you love them and find them to be a fun addition to your ink colors. If you don't have any, this is a great set to start with. Let Us Celebrate. Then we have Ride the Wave. And of course we had to use puns. This one is Be Grateful. Purple isn't my top choice for favorite color, but this shade of purple is something that I can definitely see myself using. Silver Lining is the last one and I wanted to wait for them to dry a bit more so that I could have all the names next to the actual colors. I don't know if I will use this for reference for myself because I try to create from a more intuitive place but it's useful to have a reference and a guide if you want to see how it will look on paper. Because I'm using watercolor paper in this journal, it's a little bit different texture-wise than it would be on smooth cardstock, for example. But I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to any of this, and I want to grant you permission to not be so perfect or precious with yourself, or at least not be so hard on yourself. Not sure I mentioned this, but I've been designing products for the paper crafting industry for over 12 years, yet this is my first set of ink pads. It's truly a tangerine dream come true. So grateful, or should I say grateful, for all to new, and the best part will be to see how you use these. Let me know your favorite colors in the comments, or do you also feel like you need the whole stackable set? Let's take a look at another product, the Through the Rainbow Builder Stencil Set. We are going to make a project together and you're going to see me mess up right away. I did not envision that it would turn out this way, so I tried to stamp it again. I wanted to create a sun <laughs> and instead it's kind of just this murky blob. I added some water to this paintbrush thinking it would activate similar to watercolors and it's blending a little bit better than I thought, but my thought process is really to just go with the flow, see what happens, I can always cover it up. I'm so excited about trying new products and new ideas that sometimes I don't plan. Actually, most of the time I don't plan. I'm going to take this mini blender brush and I learned that you need to tape your stencil down, which I had never previously done before. So all of you amazing card makers are teaching me so much. I was going to start with the tickled pink, but I have some other ideas. So I'm dabbing this onto the cherry sweet and I'm blending it so that I can create the first layer, the top layer of the rainbow. And I don't know what I'm doing. This is my first time using this Mindy, mini, did I say Mindy? Mini blender brush. And I am not sure how it's actually turning out until I lift it up. And look, it worked. I got a little bit on the other stencil part, but that was, like I said before, user error. This is my first time doing it. And if it's your first or 50th or 100th time doing it, that's okay if you slip up and make a mistake. I probably could use a little bit more tape, but I instead am going to go with the flow. This is Peachy Keen, and I'm layering it again with, I don't know if I'm supposed to clean off the little blender brush. <laughs> well, I didn't, but I really like the way it blended together. So here is the way 
I'm going to put down lemonade stand. And you can't see it on this video, but the stencils have numbers in the top corner so you can identify which is the front and the back. I want to create something with these photos of us from our trip to Maui and I thought about covering up the sun but as it's drying it's actually not turning out so bad so instead my plan is to use the photos on this side of the page. I might cut them down a little bit but we will see. <laughs> Or does it look better on top of the rainbow, off to the side? Hmm. As I was contemplating, I decided that I wanted to add these dots from the stamp set through the rainbow, mainly because I saw a hint of this shade in the photos. So I want to tie it in and make it feel cohesive and really intentional. This one is very cool that I'm adding to the stamp. The softness of the rainbow is I think what I was trying to achieve with the sun. And once this stamps down, I'm really loving how beautiful it all goes together. And now I'm gonna take these plus signs and use the same color off to the right side to make it balance out. And then with silver lining, I'll fill in the gaps as well. When I think the sun is completely dry, I'm taking black ink to stamp shine bright directly on it. And I think that solves the way it looks. I'm going to also grab this watercolor brush marker in fresh lemon to add some rays because I think it makes it a little bit softer and ties in the lemonade stand as well. It's a nice complement to that color trimming these pictures a little bit. And for all you scrapbookers out there, I just couldn't find my paper trimmer. Uh, and if you haven't seen my videos about my studio, it's in disarray right now. So I couldn't locate it and that's okay. So I just use scissors. I think you can create anything with the stuff that you already have. Enjoy the little things is going to get stamped here. And once it dries, I envisioned adding an ampersand or something to it to tie it all in. So enjoy the little things and shine bright. The journaling reads, our first vacation as a family of four was to Maui. It was paradise. It was perfection. Jack and I never even left the Four Seasons. We felt right at home. One of the things I have learned over the years is that hiring a professional for photos is invaluable. Maui Photographer Girl nailed these shots and so many more in under 45 minutes, which is just about the most time the guys can spend doing a photo shoot. I hope seeing this come together gives you fun ideas to document memorable moments this summer. Whether you're traveling or not, Spoiler alert, we have no plans to get on a plane, which is a first for us, but I'm very much looking forward to it. All right, friend, enjoy the little things and the big things. Check out the links below for this release video hop as there are some talented people showcasing their skills and there might be a special giveaway involved too. Thank you so much for all of your support and kind words and excitement. You are the best. I swear this creative community is just so supportive it's overwhelming at times, and I appreciate you so much. I cannot wait to see how you craft a life you love with this mini collection with Altenew.